In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the Xbox Game Bar not working or opening in Windows 10. So if you're unable to open up the overlay when you're in games, or you just generally cannot open up the Xbox Game Bar app, then by following the methods in this video, we will hopefully fix the issue. But before we get started, we are only a few subscribers off from 45,000. The next step will be 50,000 subscribers, so it would be absolutely fantastic if you haven't subscribed yet, if you do subscribe, if you want to see more videos like this. So the first thing we need to do is just ensure Windows 10 is up to date. To check this, all you need to do is right click on the Windows 10 start menu icon, you now need to click on settings, and we now need to click on update and security. You now need to go ahead and click on check for updates, and if there are any updates available, Windows will then go ahead and download and install them. Once that has finished, go ahead restart your PC and then see if that helped fix the issues you were having with the Xbox game bar not working. If it didn't, don't worry because there's still a few more things we can do. The next thing we want to do is again right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, we now want to click on gaming, and you now need to click on Xbox Game Bar, and you need to make sure this option here is turned on. This option is basically enabling the Xbox Game Bar. If you don't have this option on, then you won't be able to use the Xbox Game Bar. And also, if you are trying to use the Xbox controller and press the middle Xbox icon to open up the game bar, then you do need to have this box here ticked. While we're in this setting, it's also worth just checking what keyboard shortcut you have the Xbox game bar set to. Because if you're pressing the wrong keyboard shortcut, then the game bar will not open. So as you can see, mine is the Windows key and G, which will open up the game bar. Once you have checked all that, go ahead and see if you can now open up the game bar. If you still cannot open up the game bar, then the next thing we now want to do is close this down. We now want to right click on the start menu icon and go to apps and features. You now need to type in Xbox in the search this list. And you now need to go ahead and click on Xbox game bar and then advanced options. We now want to scroll down and we now want to terminate. Once you have clicked terminate, we now need to click on repair. This will basically repair the app. The data will not be affected, so don't worry about that. Once you've got the tick, go ahead and see if you can now launch the Xbox Game Bar. If you can't, then the next thing we want to do is do a reset. This is basically going to uninstall the Xbox Game Bar and then install it again like it's a fresh new install. So if one of the data files have become corrupted and that's what's causing the issue, then by removing all that and then installing it again will hopefully resolve the issue. So go ahead and click onto this button and then press reset. I'm not actually going to do it because I don't want it to affect this recording. If you're still unfortunately unable to launch the Xbox Game Bar, then the only other thing you can do is try and create a new user profile. Once you have created a new user profile, if the Xbox Game Bar does work on that new user, then you will need to transfer all your data across and then start using that account if that's what you decide. If that doesn't work, then the other thing is to reset Windows 10. So I hope this tutorial has helped and you did enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.